Yes, good morning to you. Uh, you're 5'9 also into the southeast of uh, the UK, and it's good to work here this morning. My name is Graham. Golf, a Romeo, Alpha, Echo, Mike, Echo. Back to you. Thank you, Graham. Nice to get you the log this morning. Uh, uh, 73 is here. Thank you, 20 years. This is special event station. Victor, Charlie, 9, Foxtrot. Okay, two Echo Zero, Whiskey, Mike Golf, Horrible, you're 5 and 9. You're also 5 9, good luck, 7 3. Thank you, 7 3. My name is Simon, my name is Simon, top part of the phone. Uh, Mike for you. Mike Zero, November Alpha Charlie, this is Sugar Queen 9, uh, Romeo, India, India. Okay, good morning from the packing shed in West Mersey. I'm with Graham, uh, M0NAC. It's a bit windy out today. Um, and uh, he's thinking of buying a Zygu G90, so uh, he's just, uh, we're just getting a few contacts and he's uh, trying it out just to see whether he likes it or not. Anyway, my video, not the last video, but the one before that, um, I was talking about batteries amongst other things, and in particular these, lithium iron batteries they're 18650 uh, batteries so named after the um, dimensions of them because they're 18 millimeter diameter and 65 millimeter long and um, in particular there was a couple of comments made on the on the video um, about the capacity which is stated on here as being 9900 milliamp hour uh, which is uh, likely uh, to be incorrect to say the least massively overstated now I sort of took that with a bit of a pinch of salt anyway but I think I probably uh, underestimated the amount to which that is over that to which the capacity is overstated because generally speaking the most that you could sort of squeeze out of these uh, for a decent quality uh, one would be 4,000 milliamp hours so my further research tells me um, so massively overstated one way to tell apparently is by the weight the a decent quality one would be about 50 grams and these that came from amazon and they were 37 pounds for eight of them and these ones that came from amazon um all weigh about 36 grams so uh yeah so the capacity is nowhere near uh what it was stated but more to more more so than i suspected in the first place there's different types of these batteries as well. You get some that have got uh, protected, uh, like a protected tip, they call them, or protected button top rather. So this is the button top there, and this is protected. So it's basically got some uh, circuitry in there that um, <clears throat> prevents uh, overcharge, over discharge, uh, short circuit, and overheating as well. Because if they go below about two and a half volts, then they're kind of irreparable and they're effectively dead so I've been looking around for a place that I can get um, some more uh, where I can be sort of more confident that they're decent quality and I uh, found a couple of places that my research has led me to uh, one place called new battery and another one called I'll put the links in the uh, description to Fogstar and uh, both of those dealers actually um, batch test them to make sure that uh, that, that they're sort of meeting the correct specification um, and there's their websites are quite good sources of information on these as well um, so I'm going to order myself some uh, some more but uh, from this reliable source and the ones that I want as well are going to be uh, probably 10 amp or at least 8 amp to match the uh, current draw maximum current draw of the G90 which is 8 amps so it's sort of a little bit of leeway in there um, but they're not cheap, and I think the uh, the one that I'm looking at, which is a 4,000 milliamp hour, which is basically the maximum that you'd squeeze out of them, are uh, 11.99, I think they are. So yeah, so not cheap. But anyway, so um, I'm going to order. I'll order four to start with. Got some nesting birds out here. I'll order four to start with, and then sort of see how I get on with them. Um, but in the meantime, I'll just uh, I'll keep using these and see uh, see how long they last before they uh, before they die on me. Anyway, I'll go back and see what Graham's up to. All we've got is uh, we're just using the uh, dipole um, on the uh, 
on, on the flagpole. Uh, but he's talking to somebody. I don't know who it is. I'll go and find out. Oh, we both work Canada, which was pretty good. Uh, so obviously only on 20 watts there was a special event station out there. Come out to the back of the shed. Not so many people out on the water today. It's bank holiday. It's actually Monday. I would uh, mention, actually, if you're watching this, uh, that you can rent the uh, shed if you want to come out and uh, operate. Check out our website at packing-shed.org.uk. I'll put a link in the description. A shack with a view. There's nothing quite like it. Birds are still nesting till about August. When you get a really high tide, these are oyster beds or what were what used to be oyster beds. When you get a high tide, there's actually nothing left of the island, and uh, these oyster beds will completely fill. We worked a few stations. Graham's got. How many in the log? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stations in his log. And uh, I was asked a question um, by AJ in my uh, comments uh, how I preferred the, or you know, uh, how I sort of compare the FX4CR with the G90. And obviously, there's no ATU in the uh, in the FX4CR. Uh, but one of the things that's sort of most no notable, I'm not sure it will come out. I'll take a a still on my phone in a sec which might illustrate it better is how much although the display on the FX4CR is only marginally larger than the G90 so how much clearer it is you can adjust the brightness on the G90 but it's actually it's on its full brightness at the moment but I just find the uh, clarity on the FX4CR is much easier to read and I need reading glasses for sort of up close stuff um, so that's probably the uh, noticeable difference uh, obviously other than the size but um, yeah if I'm using a resonant antenna the FX4CR a fraction of the size but no ATU but both 20 watts so we we're only on 20 meters there because there wasn't a lot on the uh, lot of activity on the other bands so in case you've not seen this uh, aerial before, basically it's a dipole, but we've got one hot side up going up the uh, five glass mast flagpole, and then the other side going off this way, sort of pointing to the, uh, pointing to the east. Uh, um, I'll often turn it the other way if I'm sort of looking to work the stage, but we've got to pack up now. It's about half an hour or so away from high tide wind is blowing the launch off the, uh, onto the beach so uh, we need to make sure we're off in good time otherwise we'll be stranded. Let's go. 